Hey everybody, welcome to another video for the channel. Thank you. Actually, thank you, thank you for subscribing. I wasn't expecting so many people subscribing, leaving comments for, for, for what I'm used to. Okay. So like from the bottom of my heart, like, thank you. Thank you. Because it actually tells me that the channel is doing something, something interesting, something helpful. Uh, let's put it like that in the, obviously in this specific niche of gaming on Linux or uh, Linux has specific questions about performance and stuff like that. Okay. So uh, really thank you. Um, this video is going to be talking about Mango Hut, which is from flightless Mango, great developer. He's very open to suggestions, ideas, uh, very knowledgeable. And I'm pretty sure he knows that Mongo Hut is basically the go-to for gaming benchmark tool. So I know there's others. I know you got the, the Proton Hut DXVK kind of thing there. But Mongo Hut is very friendly, very easy to use, beautiful. Okay, multiple layouts that you can use there. So in this video, we're going to go over how to install it. I'm going to do another video about how to not only change the layout and the options, so there's going to be a second video about Mongo Hut, but also the shortcuts. So there's multiple shortcuts that you need to know while recording in case, for example, a game has a HUD that basically overlaps with the Mongo Hut that you have and you want to move it while recording, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So let, let's start with this video. Here I'm showing you we're in the Mongo Hut Git, GitHub. Don't be afraid of code you, you don't need to code you don't need to be a programmer okay github it's a beautiful um let's call it revisioning or distributing revisioning kind of thing there but you don't have to worry about knowing more about github just follow the steps like a step-by-step -step kind of thing here and without coding you'll be able to compile your own thing here because flightless mango did it beautifully they did it beautifully, beautifully. And, and also tools like before have actually gotten much easier, much friendlier. So you have Meson on one end, we got Ninja on another. We don't need to, <laughs> we need to compile from zero. So again, we got the, um, the Git here. Okay, so uh, remember the URL. Let's click here on code. Let's copy this Git URL and let's start it. Well, actually, okay. Be, we got to type git clone, but I forgot we got to install it first. So after we install it, assuming you don't have it installed on your computer because you don't, we run this, sudo app install git. We install that baby. In my case, it's already installed. And then we do, let me go here, git clone. We put the URL there. Okay. Shift control enter and that just space it. Downloads that baby there. There we go. We're a hacker. So now we go into the folder CD Mango Hub with a capital M. And we're going to type this here, build sage with a pull, with a pull request. So it grabs the latest one. Okay. Then we configure that baby. As you can see, Flightless Mango did this whole thing where it detects what's missing. Voila. We get the whole shebang here. Let's give it a second. Okay. While it's installing all that. Again, it's, we pull, build sh pull to get the latest of Mango Hut. And, and then we configure it. As you can see here, you don't you only need to configure it once. Let's go down here in the documentation. Here you can see everything on my Mongo Hut and everything that we're actually doing. It's also here. Okay, here are the their dependencies, which are the the ones that are being installed, the commands you can see here. Okay. All the things that you can type. It's a it's a very long, not very long actually, documentation about how you can use it, where it works what things you actually need to put, especially this part. Uh, here's the, for the OpenGL, I'm gonna explain this one for OpenGL games too. Here's the one that we need to tackle after we finish installing this here. And, oh, okay, let's leave it here. Let me finish this part here. So now that we've configured the whole thing, let's, let me double check here, it's install. So let's type install and just run that baby. And so let, let's give it some time. While we do that, here are the parameters that we're going to be using. And I'm going to be putting some of them here. Do know that this computer that I'm on right now, it's the old one. It's the GeForce 
um, GTX 1080. Um, here's some visual information about things that we're going to do for the energy, for the CPU power, um, and some configuration. It's the old computer in the 6700K. So it's a Gen 6 Intel that I'm going to be showing you here. It's the old one because I'm updating it to Ubuntu 24.04. And that's why it's taking a little bit longer to compile. If I were to do it in the 13900K, this that monster does it in like 10 seconds. Okay. So there's a big difference here between both. 10, 12 seconds top. I'm just doing it on this one because I just happen to be thinking about doing this video for you guys that want to use Mango Hut and configure Mango Hut too, but also on a really, really old computer. Let's give it some time there. Here, again, keep in mind the documentation here on the GitHub on the right side. There's a lot of things that you, uh, you can learn from there. Plus, Flightless Mango is very open to ideas, suggestions, helpful advice, all of that. He's very, again, very, very knowledgeable. He's my hero. <laughs> okay, let's play here. Still compiling over there. And let's just repeat, every time you want to get the latest of Mango Hut, just go to the Mango Hut with a capital M folder. You type dot slash build sh, as you saw here in the video, and then you space pool, as you can see on the commands here at the top where it says available commands. You do a pool, and then you do an install. There you go. Okay, so we got that baby. Um, checking everything is good. We got the... 32 we got mango install over there okay so let's go to the configuration file for mango Hut. that's in inside dot config mango Hut. you can see it's in my root for home folder and then dot config dot mango Hut with a capital m this is the old one that i had before on the 23.10 using g overlay because you can see they got the g overlay at the top we don't need this much crap in here. Uh, this includes coloring. This includes a bunch of things that we actually don't need. Now, we've just compiled and installed Mango Hut. Does that mean that it's going to show on the game automatically? And just in case, I'm, I, I'm not using any, any parameters for the game. Okay. So let's just click here, which is the idea. You don't want to start editing all the games. Okay. I want to start this game. La Cabra Loca 3 is what my kids call this. The Goat Simulator 3. The Crazy Goat 3. Basically, they spend the whole day laughing. Very good game. Okay, you can see that you don't see the, the Mango Hut anywhere. Anywhere. Okay. How do we make it show? So we gotta tell the environment, we gotta tell the whole environment that Mango Hut is enabled. First, let's configure the Mango Hut, okay? So let's, um, let, let me, let's edit the Mango Hut. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna update this file before we configure the, the environment. And let me see which ones we can keep here. Actually, I want to update a bunch of them. We're going to start deleting all this. We should be deleting. Okay, I'm just give me a second, just double checking something here. Yeah, let me start deleting all this and just leaving the 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 new ones. The simple ones. So, okay, CPU temp. You don't need to put the one, just that I'm very picky. You can just say GPU temp and that's it. Well, we're going to put it on the top right. Let me fix this here. We want to see the VRAM. We want to see also the RAM. Um, yeah, we got to see the GPU name. 
put this power here. We want to see the CPU power if available. Let's show some metrics. So we want to use, we want to see less than 1%. Then we want to see 1% after that, obviously. So that's 0 0.01. Then we want to see the 97th percentile. And the average, and the average, of course. Let's control the FPS max. Should we be controlling the FPX? Uh, you, you know what? Okay, no, I'll explain this one later. Let's FPS limit. We're not going to be limiting, limiting this thing. Yeah, yeah, let me just remove it. Uh, th that's basically just to set how much FPS you want to have for a specific game. So some games don't go super fast. Some games don't. There's a shortcut to control this, but I'll explain that later. Later in the other video. Let's put the resolution here so you can actually see the resolution, the height, and the font size are very picky about the resolution that you're using. So you got to play with those two. So visually, people can see the mango hide properly, read it properly. Let's put 46 here. Game mode in the case that it's enabled or not. I think that's I think that's enough. Okay, with that configuration, it doesn't still mean that it's gonna um it's gonna show on when you load the game. Okay. So here's a full configuration, the simple one again, just to double check. But with this configuration, it doesn't mean that it's going to show because we need to set the Mango Hut as a um, as a environment variable. So let's close this thing in case it didn't read the Steam. I mean, in case it didn't read the environment variables when it loaded. And now we're going to set the environment variable, which is let me go up here. I don't think the documentation has it somewhere here. I know it's Mango Hut equals one there. Okay, there it is. But it doesn't say exactly in which file to do it. That would be something good to have here. I'm just double checking so I don't say something stupid because it's actually an etc. environment. On Ubuntu, it's slash etc. slash environment. But I just want to make sure that you can also see it, find it here. And I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Nah, never mind. Let's just let's just double check if it's down here. I'm I'm just making sure that when you finish setting up your Mango HUD, it's it's properly set up. Okay, and you don't have to do a lot of steps. So let's just do it here ourselves. Sudo nano etc etc environment and voila and then just put mango hud capitalize equals one and that's it that's it okay that should be it uh let's double check opening the steam here boom boom let's run it and now that we have it on the environment variables there you go look at that beautiful baby Again, you can see that it's a 1080, the resolution that the 1080 is using, DXVK, so everything beautiful there. The power is not showing, but that's something that's being worked on for the CPU, I mean, or at least for this specific CPU. But as you can see that now Mango High is there. Okay, on the second video, I'll be doing talking more about uh, shortcuts and layouts and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. So, oh yeah, I'm using GPU screen recorder here, but again, the configuration that we did was to avoid having to put, put Mango HUD everywhere for each game and how to compile it yourself, have the latest version of it always, and not having to type it every time on each 
in on each game that you wanted to benchmark or you wanted to compare against the ones that I have on the uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Um, for OpenGL, I forgot. For OpenGL games, if you add this, MangoHUD hyphen hyphen DLSYM, okay, and then the, the command, this will force or it will help MangoHUD work on OpenGL games. This works beautifully on specific OpenGL games, okay? So there's games that it doesn't show. There's other games, remember that if you even show MangoHUD, they basically go black, black screen or don't even load the game so that's a game engine bug but for OpenGL games that mango hot dlsm uh, ym works hope you liked the video think positive bye